hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to pad your hip and butt how to pad both hip and butt as you can see from this video the first video by the left is me wearing the dress without an hip pad the second video is the first stage of the hip pad while the last video by the right is the second stage of the hip pad so if you want to know how i achieve this please watch like subscribe share and let's get started welcome back guys so this is the material i'll be using for the hip pad this is the foam material and you can get this from any swarm mill or any store where they sell material for making chair so the person that sold it for me said told me that there is two types of this foam there's the original and there's the fake i think the soft and the hard one there is one when you press it to just go down while there is another one which is this one that it is strong and it is thick and i noticed that while touching the other one it is soft so when i press it it will just go flat so this is the material i will be using and this is my pattern paper i drafted the this pattern paper in my previous video i'll drop the link in the comment section so i'm transferring it to another sheet because i already drafted this one but i lost the clip i did not record the video so i couldn't get the clip so i'll be doing it again on this one so now from here i'll just measure one inch so this pattern is like is a skirt pattern for a gown dress i wore in the beginning of this video so i just went down by one inch at that side then i'm trying to measure my hip length here so i'll transfer it here too So on this line over here, at the lower part, I will measure one inches too. Then at this line over here, I will measure one and a half. This will serve for the back. You will understand as I continue to measure. So I'll just connect the line like this, just to form a round shape, not like a round shape, but just like an oval shape, like a curvy shape, sha. Just to achieve this kind of shape so this is this will be for the back so i'm trying to draft the one for the front so i'll just measure four inch from that point over there then i will then i'll connect it to please note that when you are using a pattern like this make sure you've added your hip padding allowance to the pattern drafting because if you do if you did not add it there won't be space for it to stay I hope you understand so if you want to understand how to drop this just watch the video i'll be linking in the comment section and also in the description box so that you can understand so this is what i have i'll just go ahead and cut my phone so after cutting my phone i noticed that it will be too long and i don't want it to be too long so i'll be cutting I'll, from the upper part i'm remo removing two inches and from the lower part i'm removing one and a half so i'll just reconnect the line in this form so i'll be doing the same for the front and the back foam so this is just the back foam you know you'll be cutting two each two for the back two for the front because you know you are putting the pad at the right and also at the left so that is that about the back so the front one will be shorter and i'll cut that now so this is the one for the front and the one below is the one for the back so the next thing i'll be doing is to double this pad i'll be doubling this pad because i want it to be thick if i'm using just one it won't be thick enough so this is the other one i cut for the back and as you can see it's shorter than the first one so this is shorter than the first one then i'll use my gum this is a shoemaker gum i'll use it to just attach the gum together that is the gum i'll be doubling I will attach it together with a gum you can do three layers depending on how full you want it because at the second stage of this a pattern i later did 
a another layer to it but just keep watching so that you can understand so i'm just adding my gum to the smaller part of the foam then i'll attach it to the to the bigger one please note that this is still the back foam what i'm just doing now is just to layer it it's not as if this is the front this is not the front i'm just trying to layer the back and i'll also layer the front i hope you get so as you continue to watch this video you will understand better so i'm just attaching the gum i'm just applying the gum to it so that is the back i'm done with the back so i'll be doing the i'll be doing the same thing for the front too so this is what i have for the front you see i'm layering the front the front part also so i'll just be applying my gum and i'll be attaching it please if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel if you haven't liked this video if you haven't commented please comment like share subscribe it is very very important thank you so if there's any part you don't understand in this video please let me know in the comment section and i'll reply as soon as possible so this is the front part and um and i've layered it also so the next thing i'll be doing is to join the front and the back together that is one of the front and one of the back so you can use ninja on tray to just sew it down or you can use your machine to just sew but i'll be using my machine to sew because i don't want stress <laughs> but if you are sewing with a machine just know that it is kind of stressful it is not as easy as you think because you know it's a foam so the machine will just be struggling with it so this is it after sewing you can use a a zigzag machine to just sew this but my zigzag machine is not available so i just use a normal sewing machine to do this and i just place it on top of each other just very little like just on top of each other then i sew so as you can see this is the second layer and that's the first layer so this is me wearing this dress without any hip pad without any hip pad and the hip allowance i've sewn it out like i didn't put the hip allowance this is my perfect hip size like the perfect hip size without adding adding any hip allowance or whatsoever so the hip allowance i added before i've loosened it out then i've attached my pad to it so this is what it looks like now after adding the pad and note that it's not the same hip measurement i use for the previous video i'm using for this this one is is extra because i've released the hip allowance i added so i've released the hip allowance so this is what it looks like as you can see it is it is okay there's a difference between the first one and the second one more one so my former hip measurement was 33 34 33 and they have 34 around that measurement and now let's measure this and this is like 37 37 let's say 36 and they have 37 if it is very tight 36 and they have 37 as you can see there's a difference there's a difference there so though i want it to be more fuller so i'll be adding another layer of the foam to it so i'm cutting out the bigger size that is the first size we cut before adding the second layer so that's what i'll be adding so i'll be sewing that to separate i'll be sewing it separate then i'll be adding it to the back just like this so i'll be adding it like this so to add it like this is either you use a gum to attach attach it together but my gum i don't have gum anymore i'll just be using my machine to tack it down just to tack it down i'll be using my machine to tack it down so that's what i'll just be doing so at those four corners i'll be using the machine to tack it down so after tacking it down this is what it looks like so this is what it looks like after tacking it down so the next thing i'll be doing now is just to fix it on my dress if you want a video on how to fix your hip pad on your dress just let me know in the comment section because i feel you can there's a two way you can do the fixing is either you fix it to your dress that is the lining of the dress or you just you just use your 
one a, just buy a new tight that is a tight i don't know if you know what i mean by a tight and you just attach it to your tight so that whenever you want to wear a dress that you need to pad the hip you just put on that tight and it will it will show so the method i used for this is to add it to my tight so i add it to my tight so if you want to know how to fix your hip pad just let me know in the comment section so this is the final outcome of the second stage this is what it looks like let me know in the comment section which one you prefer is it without pad is it the first stage or the second stage please let me know in the comment section as you can see i think i'm liking this second stage but it is so obvious <laughs> it is so obvious that it was padded it is so obvious so now after measuring i have around 38 inches here 38 37 and a half inches as you can see the measurements move from 33 and a half to 36 and a half now to 37 and a half thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing for liking for commenting i'll see you in my next video bye